From the Del Mar Arena, it's time for the PASL Pro North American Championship as the San Diego Soccers take on La Raza de Guadalajara. Good evening, everyone. I'm Craig Elston, standing alongside Soccers coach and GM Phil Salvaggio. Welcome to the championship. The Soccers stand one win away from their 11th major indoor title. In their way, a tremendous team from Mexico. And Phil, last night, Mexico City in town, a 6-5 win that came down to the last second of the game. We saw this Guadalajara team defeat California, last year's champion. This is going to be a stern test tonight for sure. Oh, it's going to be a great game. We expect it just to be like last night. Talking about last night's game, once again, the stars rise to the occasion. The league's first team goalie, Riley Swift, 16 saves last night, and the way he kept you guys in the game early was amazing. I think that was his best game in his career. Um, we talked about it afterwards, and we agreed that is his best game of his career. Coach Salvaggio, your team stands one win away from the title. What's the feeling of the team in the locker room prior to the game? Uh, I hate to say it, it's loose today, so hopefully that doesn't hurt us. Coach, best of luck. Thank you. And now we welcome you to the broadcast booth. Craig Elston, Chuck Lively with you here. La Raza de Guadalajara, a very motivated side looking to bring home the North American Championship. Final words from Phil Salvaggio to the Soccers. 15 minutes on the clock, and the North American Championship is underway in quarter number one. La Raza all in red, and right away a ball over the glass, and it'll be Soccers ball. The Soccers in their home whites trimmed in blue with yellow socks. First team all PASL goalie Riley Swift for the goal throw. And trying to find Aaron Susi. It's tapped up and over the Guadalajara bench. This is a very tense atmosphere early in this game, Chuck, as a direct result of what happened last night in the semifinals as San Diego defeated Mexico City very late on a free kick which incensed the Mexico City side. La Raza came down behind the sidekick's bench to try and show support for their countrymen. And as a result, both of these teams on the edge at the start of this game. Yeah, the end of the game uh, yesterday uh, was delayed. Um, the Mexican team was not uh, happy with the officiating. Um, and actually, I, I, I guess La Raza was not happy either. They came from out of the stands. Um, came behind the bench of the uh, Mexican team that the Soccer's played in the semifinal yesterday and almost to show support and almost like a scene from Braveheart, kind of uh, standing behind their countrymen like they're going to go into battle. So I would look uh, to see, you know, you know, the Mexican team, La Raza, test the officials uh, to see where they're going to stand and how the officiating is going to go for the rest of the night. We'll keep a close eye on that in the opening minutes of the action here. Guadalajara has established possession. Anthony Hernandez, one of many talented midfielders for this team and their keeper Eduardo Aravalo ball into the right corner intercepted by San Diego soccer's headed out but La Raza able to maintain possession at midfield now here's a takedown right in Cloutier after the steal taken down from behind and a blue card comes out right there yeah you can actually see him catch uh, his trail foot Braden know where he had a step on him. He was going to uh, to their goal and just took him down. Well, taken down from behind. This leads to a soccer's power play, a five on four man advantage. And here's Paul Wright creeping into the yellow line. Passes it on left wing and now gets it right back. Right, takes the measure of the man. Fires it in! Paul Wright blasts one from the yellow line and the soccer's have taken the lead. What a great statement right here by Paul Wright and the soccer's. Uh, starting off the power play, beginning of the game. Hits a great shot, well, he gets a piece of it, but uh, it still hits the back of the net. Paul walks off like, uh, yeah, we're gonna take this uh, game to you guys. The one remaining tie from the last Soccer's Indoor Championship, 1991-1992, the MSL champs. Paul Wright scored 50 goals for that team. That was 18 years ago. Now at age 40, he's given the Soccer's a one to nothing lead. Chuck, great to see the Soccers get off to a quick start. That's something they haven't done much this year. Yeah, it's actually uh, great to see, especially in the championship game, them get up 1-0. It usually seems that in the beginning of the game, we're coming from behind. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, handle a 1-0 lead. Laraza lost possession in the defensive corner. Here's a long cross that finds its target. Aaron Susi by the baseboards, lobs it into the penalty area. Cheeky! Luna scores! Soccer's take a 2-0 lead. Look at the pass. Aaron Susi to Cheeky Luna. 
It's actually a great play by Aaron Susi. He sees the goalie that's out of position. Instead of trying to hit it on goal, he actually bangs it against the boards, and Cheeky's not tightly marked, and all he has to do is uh, volley it into an empty net. Cheeky Luna's 22nd goal of the year, and the soccer's just like that, ahead 2 to nothing. And Antonio boxes out of La Raza forward. Gets the ball to Radcliffe. Nate Hetherington playing it off the boards to himself and up to midfield. Craig Chow's beautiful touch. Over to Paul Wright, working along the far baseboards. Soccer's already ahead, two to nothing. And San Diego looking to make a statement here in the North American Championship game. Claim their 11th indoor title on their home field. There's a turnover, and Fernando Camarena coming forward for La Raza. Omar Santillan into the corner. Sharp angle, man right there, and there's Antonia to take it away. Great block by the first team, all PSL defender. Now a foul. Paul Wright has drawn a foul in the corner, and Horacio Alvarez is furious along with Anthony Hernandez. Uh, and actually, you can see here they're arguing with the rest, just like the uh, Mexican team from last night. Um, and what do we have here? Kia Dupanis calling a man forward. I think he's going to pull a yellow card. There it is. A misconduct has been called. And the coach is on the field. Well, here we go again. Anthony Hernandez is furious. The Guadalajara team, another on-field meltdown. The Soccers will take advantage now with a power play as a result of all their misconducts. It's already 2-0 San Diego, and now they've got a man advantage and a chance to build on that two-goal lead. Paul Wright coming forward. He's already scored tonight for San Diego. Tips to D'Antonio, who turns, shoots, and scores! Dizzy Dan buries one from the top of the box. The Soccers have already cashed in two power plays. Perfect cross shot low. Soccers lead it three to nothing early in the first. Three nothing Soccers. La Raza with a free kick as we return to action here with 5.39 to play in the first quarter of the North American Championship and off the free kick. A shot from the yellow line is up and over the glass. Goal throw for San Diego. Very tense moments early here in this game, Chuck. La Raza, a heated side. They almost threatened to come off the field after arguing a pair of free kicks. Former Mexican national indoor soccer coach Rene Ortiz came over their boards to help organize the team. We'll see how La Raza responds here late in the first quarter. Anthony Medina and a turnover. Vasquez to Rodrigo Flores. He steps into the box and scores. Rodrigo Flores had four goals in the semifinals. He has netted one here off a turnover to make it a three to one game. Yeah, actually uh, they intercepted in our uh, defensive third. Nice little step over right there to get the uh, defender to commit the wrong way and had an open shot at uh, Riley and he just slotted it. Flores is undoubtedly the top player on the La Raza side. Number 10, keep an eye on him. That's his fifth goal here in this just the second game for Guadalajara in these North American championships. Greg Childs had a hat trick last night. He turns, Nate Hetherington, corner, header, shot, save! Childs tries to find the rebound. It's out to midfield, but what a tremendous attempt for San Diego. The Cloutier header went into the goalie and a great save by Aravalo. Now a free kick top of the box after a sloppy clear for San Diego. Anthony Hernandez shoots it into the wall. And Craig Childs with a hip able to turn it aside. Now Childs trying to beat his man to the ball. Aravalo's all the way out of goal. The goalkeeper's beyond midfield. And look, here's a steal. Tony V taken down from behind. That'll be a card for sure. Blue card penalty tripping Tony Velasquez. Dropped from behind, but that's all about Aravalo being all the way beyond midfield. Out of goal and out of luck. Yeah, he's he got caught in no man's land in the middle of the field. Uh, obviously, he can't use his hands outside of the box, and uh, he just decides to take uh, Tony V down. Another power play for San Diego. They've already cashed in two. Here's Cheeky Luna on the left mid boards. Back to Paul Wright. Wright rolls it right side. Here's a ball off the box, and tipped off of Arafalo's hands. Antonia got a touch on it inside the penalty box. Corner kick San Diego here. Luna standing over it. Out to right and right back to Cheeky. Bobs it back to P3. Aaron Susi standing out beyond the yellow line. Instead, right shoots it high off the frame. 
Susie will track it down at the right point. Soccer's power play leading three to one here in the first quarter. All right, brings it back across center circle. The point guard of the power play. Plays it on right wing. In the slot, Susie steps it back to right. Greg Childs is down there on the baseboards. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Right to Childs. He heads it in! Just like that! Perfect pass to Childs. The brilliant header. Four to one. Yeah, this is actually another great ball. I think there was a similar goal like this yesterday in yesterday's game from Paul to Craig in the back post, and uh, instead of volleying it in, he actually heads it in. What a great goal. Craig Giles, 39th goal of the year, and Paul Wright already a goal and two assists in this period. Four to one, San Diego. What a tremendous start to the North American Championship for the soccer. And is this La Raza side rattled? Are they out of their game after arguing so much early in the contest? Let's see how they respond. Yeah, I think they're probably going to be a little bit frustrated. It's going to be interesting to see how the next uh, few minutes go. They're down 4-1 to one and uh, obviously think that the refs are against them. So see if they can actually get back into this game. Maybe this is time for the Sockers to try and put it away early. Here's another giveaway at midfield. And Craig Childs trying to spring Medina along the boards. He's taken down from behind. There's a foul for sure as Medina is tripped up. No card this time, just a free kick. Braden Cloutier will take it. Cloutier bends one to the far post. Nobody there for San Diego. Ball right emerges from the baseboards. Soccer is leading it by a 4-1 count here as we count down to the three minute mark, clock running. This is just the first quarter. And we mentioned it early, Chuck, this is normally a slow starting soccer team. Not today as Medina called for a foul from behind on Oton Tavares. It's actually great to see the soccer start off so great, especially in the championship game. It's going to be a lot harder for the Mexican team to come back, especially when the soccer's playing at home. Hugo Garcia at midfield. Very upset as possession is awarded back to San Diego again. Last night, all the argument, the controversy at the end of the game. Today, start of the game, same thing. I don't know where Guadalajara's head is at right now as a unit. Rene Ortiz tried to bring them together as a side. We'll see how much the Sockers can apply pressure here. Now, La Raza making a run into the attacking zone. Whiffing on a shot partially was Martinez. Much to the benefit of the Sockers as Swift dive to his left. That ball was slower than it could have been on the way to the goal. Hetherington now coming out. Started a run, but nobody was there, and now Nate's going to retreat to the bench. He has to hurry back into the play instead. Here's a ball on right wing. Tipped back out, La Raza with an opportunity with Tavares. Long shot into the box, headed out by Scotty Martin. Now turning. Once again, Guadalajara able to maintain possession. Horacio Alvarez brings it back out. Under two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Flores to Alvarez. On left wing, Carlos Martinez, another talented ball handler for La Raza. And back to Aravalo. His Carefree adventures out of the goal led directly to that last soccer's power play and score. Counting down to the final minute here of the first quarter. Ball crossed to the left wing in the soccer's attacking zone. Santian out to Martinez. Right wing Tavares. Down to Rodrigo Flores. Flores will try and make a move on Cheeky Luna. Jay Roberto comes over for a double team. Double team works. Cheeky comes out with the ball. Plays it to Tony V at his yellow line. Under 45 seconds clock running. Forward, the Sockers have a little bit of space. Ball played to Craig Giles. Here's Giles with room. Right slot. He shoots and scores! Craig Giles does it again. His 40th goal of the season. 5-1 San Diego. What a great little setup. He actually you know, brings the ball, rolls it into the inside, and then puts it outside. And he sees that the near post is not guarded by the keeper and just sticks it in. So good, so good. A soccer's goal scoring storm. Five here in the first, their best quarter of the year. They save it for the championship game. Their best first quarter of the year. Let me be clear about that. They've had a seven goal quarter. They've had a bigger individual quarter. But in the first, this one's the best by far and it's in the game that counts the absolute most. With less than 10 seconds to play, Laraza trying to seek out a hole in the San Diego defense. It's not there. 
And this discontented club will just fire a ball off the glass in frustration. First quarter's in the books. Raza trying to regroup after being stormed off the field. 5-1 in the first quarter by the San Diego Sockers. Ivan Solorio from the Mexico City team down there to offer his support to his countrymen as the second quarter begins. 15 minutes back on the clock. San Diego dominating that first quarter and is really a Paul Wright dominated quarter. Uh, Chuck with a goal and a pair of assists. Yeah, definitely uh, this is something that Coach Lavaggio, I'm sure, thought about uh, when, you know, picking Paul Wright for the soccer's team, bringing that experience in. He's been there, done that with championships, and obviously it shows in his first quarter, you know, having three points for himself. Greg Childs with a pair of goals, his 39th and 40th, and the soccer's went three for three on the power play. In that first quarter, a very tense quarter filled with argument by Guadalajara, filled with some hard fouls as well, and a misconduct. There's a ball to Aaron Susi in the corner. Lays it back mid boards. All the way back out to Riley Swift and San Diego will reset offensively. Swift so good at playing these balls into the corners. Until now, over the glass and out of play. I think you might have jinxed him, Craig. Well, that's one of the reasons he's a first team <laughs> all-league goalie. He's so tremendous at Definitely. initiating offense. Getting out behind that yellow line. He's so good with his feet. He can play the ball to a holding forward. Like Susie or Childs in the corners. Cambrena's long clear, intercepted by Medina. Heads it to the baseboards, gets it back. Medina's making a run. He's loose at the top of the box. Cambrena to Roberto to Medina. 6 1 Suckers. What a give and go. Roberto to Medina. Another uh, blue collar goal by Medina. He, uh, you know, he starts off the whole play by intercepting the pass from the uh, Mexican defenders and uh, plays at a one-touch to Z Roberto, and he plays one touch back across the goal, and the goalie's already beat on the ground. Roberto's got a pair of assists now. 6-1, and it could be more. Here comes Childs, he shoots, and then Aravalo save. Childs going for an early hat trick. Another giveaway at midfield. It's all soccer's here so far in the North American Championship. Leading 6-1. to one. Tony V tries to make a run. Ball taken away from him, now V gets it back. Stumbles at midfield. Play on, here's a great ball, back to Luna, cheeky off the frame. He almost had goal number seven on an assist from Childs, but that one just a bit high. Yeah, Cheeky actually tried to be a little bit cute and be cheeky himself, and uh, instead of hitting the ball really hard, uh, just chip it over the goalie and uh, didn't, didn't actually quite get in the goal, hit it off the crossbar. Now here's a turnover the other way for La Raza, and Guadalajara able to possess into the offensive midfield. 6-1 San Diego dominating the North American Championship. The way it's going right now, they're going to cruise to their 11th major indoor title. But this La Raza side, we'll have to see how they respond. Honestly, Chuck, so far they've responded horribly to all of the uh, controversy they essentially invented in the first quarter. Yeah, it actually seems that they've settled down a little bit. Um, don't really see any um, arguing of the calls that the referees are making on the field. So hopefully it'll just be soccer from here on out. All right, had the intercept, tried to roll it to Susie, and you're still seeing a lot of turnovers. And here's one perhaps to the advantage of Guadalajara. Flores rolls it into left corner. Centering best pass off the board, and there's a high shot deflected by Riley Swift. What a save off Miguel Vaca, deflecting that up into the crossbar. Riley Swift, a huge save. Now back comes La Raza, Vaca. On the right wing, taps to his left foot, stands over the ball, and Hetherington guards him. Centering bounce pass again. Look out, a little bit of possession here. Down on the block. Last played back into the slot. Look out. Santian turns and turns again, and Cheeky Luna stays right with him. Santian now plays it back to Flores. Flores to Santian, he shoots and scores! Omar Santillan on the give and go from Rodrigo Flores. Six to two the score, soccer still in charge. Yeah, it was actually initially good work by Cheeky uh, keeping the uh, offensive uh, guy from getting a good shot on. Got the, goal, got the ball back and uh, slotted in between Cheeky's legs looks like. The goal at the 8.31 mark makes it 6-2 to two, San Diego. How will the Sockers respond? Roberto to Martin, plays it forward to right. Right to Cloutier. Cloutier right corner settles and scores! There's a response for you. The Sockers immediately re-extend to a five-goal lead. Braden Cloutier's third of the year. 
Wow, veteran to veteran. See Braden just all by himself on the right-hand side and just sizes up where he wants to hit it and he smashes it into the far, far stick. 12 seconds after the Guadalajara goal, San Diego right back to a 7-2 lead and Paul Wright is fourth point of the first half. What an amazing game for the 40-year-old Wright who has threatened all year to retire at the end of this season. If this is his last game, he is having a great one so far. Alvarez with a hot shot across the goal mouth, but it bounces up and out of play. San Diego ball. Zay Roberto plays it all the way forward. Anthony Hernandez battling with Anthony Medina. And a long shot over the glass. The sloppiness for the Sockers. A turnover to La Raza. Guadalajara shell-shocked in this first half. Trailing 7-2. Here's a ball forward to Rodrigo Flores. Back to Anthony Hernandez. He'll play it into the left corner. There's Vasquez, Quentin Vasquez, another very talented scorer for La Raza. He had two goals in their semifinal win. All played to the box, off the post! Oh, Riley Swift saved by the post there at the 7.45 mark, and then a foul called on San Diego's Greg Childs. Yeah, you can see the uh, Mexican defender kind of get in a little bit late behind Childs. Childs had already played it back to uh, soccer's defender behind him, and. Uh, Kind of got stuck from behind. Yeah, Giles pushed down to the La Raza foul, but now Sockers give it right away. Tom Reyna coming forward now. Miguel Vaca. Vaca's shot is blocked all the way forward. Here's Aaron Susi. Susi looking for some runners. Plays it left wing. Medina will turn, and a double team is there. Medina still fighting. Vaca takes the ball away from him. To Santian, he plays it. 7-2 to two San Diego here in the second quarter. All the way to the yellow line. Flores back to Camarena. Camarena with Martin in front. Give and go to Camarena, blocked by Roberto, and the ball gets to Riley Swift. But it was Zay Roberto who saved the goal right there with some heady play in the box. Now Cloutier advances with all sorts of room. Plays it, Tony V, V off the left post. Oh, if he could have one-touched that, it would have been a goal for sure. Tony V had to settle the ball, and then he missed it just wide left. Now ball played to Santillan. His shot is blocked into the corner by Chiqui Luna. Omar Santillan turns around. 7-2 San Diego, but it looks like La Raza is starting to find their legs here. Late in the second quarter, here's a ball played to Vasquez and headed back out by Luna. Tony V bounces it off of the boards in front of La Raza bench. Guadalajara gives it away. Here's Susi to Tony V, under four minutes to play in the first half. V stumbles and loses it to Quinton Vasquez. A turnover. Here comes La Raza. Vasquez still with the ball on his feet. Plays it into the corner, and a whistle and a foul called on San Diego. Sixth foul, and a ticky-tack one at that, but Zay Roberto's going into the box. The Sockers are going to have to defend a late power play here from La Raza. Guadalajara trying to get a late goal in the second to get back into this championship game. On right wing, it's Horacio Alvarez. And Vanier Hernandez is the point guard in this power play. And... Another whistle along the boards as Flores went down. A little bit of a push, not really, come on. Free kick coming, forward to Hernandez. Hernandez rolls it right slot, now Alvarez will cross. Back to Rodrigo Flores, Flores fires it to the far post, deflected up high by the tower of strength, Dan Antoniuk, who then bowls over Vasquez on his way to the ball. As he is slow to get up, another free kick, and this one from a very dangerous spot. Alvarez tips it to far post. Played back across the goal mouth, and no shot taken. Still a power play for La Raza, trailing 7-2 here in the closing minutes of the first half. All the way forward comes Alan Paulo to restart the power play. Anthony Hernandez. Give and go. Back to Miguel Vaca out there now. Vaca tips it far post. Vasquez, easy touch, just missed in the rebound goal. Horacio Alvarez pots the rebound after the first touch in the box should have been finished by Flores. He missed it wide left. Alvarez there to net the power play goal. Actually, Bowers tried to uh, dive and try to get in the you know, way, try to block that shot, and just shot it over him, and Riley was uh, helpless. Now here's one that whistles across the goal mouth, but no intended target. Baca retreats at the yellow line. Well, seven to three, a much more manageable deficit, it seems, for La Raza of Guadalajara. 
Vasquez on Bowers. Centering bounce pass deflected up and out of the ball, out of the box by San Diego. Back to Vaca though. There's another cross pass that Bowers tips up into the glass. And now Anthony Medina so strong. Buddy just airmails one over the boards. This will be a top of the box chance. Very sloppy clear. Great scoring chance. Rolled on right wing. Here's a shot deflected in. Hetherington able to stop that intended shot right in the middle of the penalty area. San Diego with a 7-3 advantage. Colorado pressing the attack here late in the first half. Baca. Short angle shot, Swift makes a save. All tipped out by the San Diego defense. Turning now. And Santian plays it all the way back. Omar Santian. Looking for some place to go. Soccer's crouching into a defensive shell here. Late in the second quarter. A game in which they lead it 7-3, in which their offense has been explosive throughout the first half, but now it's Lavaza controlling play and possession. Alvarez, who scored that rebound goal to make it 7-3, plays it back to Hernandez. He lines up a shot, and there's Roberto, heads it into the corner, sharp angle, and a whistle. I think this was another uh, high kick. Uh, I think there was one yesterday in the game. Uh, Sean Bowers almost took a foot to the face. Uh, so good call by the referee. Swift to Susie. Susie gets it through to Luna. Cheeky shoots it into the Del Mar Knight. Oh, what a great ball by Aaron Susie to find Luna there in the right slot. Yeah, I think Cheeky would like that one back. Uh, half, you know, half volley opportunity. You can always crush those if you hit it right. But if not, then you can extend it skyward like he did. And Guadalajara just turned it over. On a one-hop bounce into the penalty box. Now to Paul Wright. Paul with four points in the first half already. It's moving and plays it left wing. Now he looks for some room as Luna taps the ball back out to the top of the box. Try to back heel to Susie and it was intercepted. Under 20 seconds to play here in the first half of the North American Championship. Barraza trying to make another late run. They've already scored here in the final three minutes of the half. Here's a high shot that's off the frame. As we bounce back to midfield, the horn will sound. The Sockers get a pair of goals from Craig Giles, right a goal and three assists. San Diego's one half away from their 11th title. Getting ready for the start of the third quarter here at the Del Mar Arena in the PASL 2010 North American Championship. And it's been all Sockers in the first half, leading seven to three. 15 minutes back on the clock for the third quarter here. Craig Elston and Chuck Lively back with you in the broadcast booth. San Diego with a blitzkrieg in that first quarter. They built a 6-1 lead, Chuck. What do they need to do here early in the second half? I think they just need to continue what they were doing in the first half. Uh, play their game, um, go at goal. Um, you really don't want to see them sit back. That's not really soccer's game. You know, they're an offensive team, and uh, hopefully they can stick some more in the back of the net. Well, right away, a foul called on Zay Roberto there for San Diego. And that gives La Raza possession. Guadalajara, of course, hoping for an early score to really change the flow of this game. Here's a ball played into the left corner, and their talented striker, Rodrigo Flores, with 42-year-old Sean Bowers in his hip pocket and cradling him like they're about to tango. The ball is played out to Anthony Hernandez. He crosses far post, and Aaron Susi there for the takeaway. Wright rolls it into empty space. Goalkeeper change for La Raza to start the second half. Jesus Flores has taken over in net, replacing Eduardo Arevalo. Here's a hot shot into the box, headed down and punched out by Riley Swift. Flores taps it back to Anthony Hernandez. La Raza continuing to control. Hernandez, right slot, that ball gets to Quinton Vasquez, centering bounce pass to Flores, taken down. Whistle sounds, free kick coming. And it'll be taken by Fernando Camarena. Taps it to Hernandez, who chips it all the way out to I-5. Yeah, I think you would want that one back, too. A little bit of help for San Diego, always appreciated. Riley Swift gets a free goal throw. Giles hangs it off the midboards. Giveaway. Alvarez, good ball forward to Flores, and it's off Swift and into the net. Rodrigo Flores has potted his second goal of the night. And look out, just as we had feared, Chuck, that early goal for La Raza, 
One that got off of the hand of Riley Swift, but a tough strike from the left slot. Seven to four, a different kind of game. Yeah, the Sockers need to be careful here not to uh, let the you know, La Rosa team gain the momentum and get back into this game. One thing in San Diego's favor, Chuck, La Rosa came into halftime with five fouls. So one more foul, and San Diego's going to get a power play. Something to keep an eye on here is the Sockers possess bicycle kick Cloutier. Oh, my goodness. That would have been the goal of the season. Missed it into the corner. There's a whistle. There's a foul. And no surprise, it's Medina drawing it. It's wrestling match time with Carlos Martinez. That six fouls, and there was Antonio de Cloutier. What a pretty try. Soccer's power play now. Five on four man advantage in a seven to four game. Susie plays it out to Paul Wright. And Wright rolling on left wing. Soccer's the man advantage, looking to regain that four goal lead they held at halftime. Wright. Child's down to the far post. Dan Antoniak at the top of the box. Luna and Susi on the wings. Back to P3. Right with four points already tonight. A goal and three helpers. Fancy footwork. Plays it right wing. Susie's shots left frame. Childs has the rebound. Taps it back out to right. Back to Childs. One touch goal! The power play hat trick goal for Craig Childs. His 41st of the year. San Diego's back in charge. Eight to four, the Sockers. And for Paul Wright, his fifth point of the championship. We'll be right back. It's been a physical battle here in the PASL Pro North American Championship. The Sockers leading La Raza eight to four. This is a game that's seen a number of very hard fouls, arguments with the officials. And as the game has gone along, it's gotten even more physical. Things erupting here in the third quarter. Quinton Vasquez with a quick little elbow to Riley Swift right in the goal mouth. And then when the card comes out, Vasquez comes to stand over Swift. In comes Braden Cloutier to play defender. Little pushing and shoving between Cloutier and Vasquez. The officials get in the middle of what becomes kind of a nasty scrum, Chuck, but really part and parcel for what we've seen here tonight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you actually see the soccer defenders come in to the aid of Riley, making sure he's OK. I think the uh, La Rosa uh, attacker tried to stand over him, and uh, the soccer defenders weren't going to have it. You see Scotty there trying to just keep himself in between the La Rosa players and, look, and Vasquez players. trying to creep back in. He, he won't give up on this. You know, this could have been a red carnival offense. And, and frankly, I, I think, as you see, Riley Swift telling the soccer trainers that he's okay. All of the hysteria at the start of the game maybe prevented a red card from being pulled right there when it should have been. Yeah, it's sad to kind of see this, kind of, you know, revert back to uh, these, t these types of tactics. Here it was again. Vasquez at first was down in front of the goal. Then he gets up and delivers a little shove to Riley. Now Swift played it up, he, he went down to the ground, but then when Vasquez went to stand over Swift, that's when things really got messy. So the play has resumed here, and the Sockers have a five on three man advantage as a result of multiple penalties from that fracas around the net. This should be an automatic goal for San Diego. Luna to Childs, back to Cheeky. Now right with Antonio, top of the box, rolls it to Susie. Susie fires it up and over the rafters. That was an open goal mouth shot. Aaron missed it. Already, La Raza has killed off part of this two-man advantage. And now as they bring it forward, the Sockers have really squandered a major chance. We're back to even strength. Anthony Hernandez out of the box. Fires it near post, rebound, score! And look, there's Vasquez. He got the rebound goal. And then he's in Riley Swift's ear. And yes, sir, Kia Dapana pulls out the yellow card, and rightfully so. Vasquez spins Swift down and out on the way to make this an 8-5 to five game. Yeah, can you say unsportsmanlike? Kia Dapana can. And the lead official has already issued a five-minute misconduct to Vasquez. But from a five-on-three advantage, looking to make it maybe nine or ten to four, instead the Sockers are in an eight-to-five game. This is very much a game, Chuck. 
Yeah, it, it seems that they've kind of lost their edge uh, from the first half. They were all over this La Rosa team, and now it looks like La Rosa's kind of all over us. Yeah, Guadalajara has the momentum right now. Three-goal lead is formidable, but keep in mind, on the first day of these PSL championships, two different teams rallied from fourth quarter, three-goal deficits. Here's a ball that bounds into the penalty area. Jesus Flores has been much sturdier in goal, but you've got to say to the credit of Eduardo Aravalo, it's been the Guadalajara defense in front of the keeper that is really and truly improved. And as there's some squawking for a foul in the corner between Santiago and Medina, the ball rolls to Riley Swift. A bit more of a tense air. Here's another giveaway. Carlos Martinez with Santiago behind him. Martinez still with the ball on his foot. Reverses now back to Santiago. Right slot. His shot is wide off the post. Almost a sixth goal for La Raza. Boutier plays it along the boards but then came off. Greg Childs is low on gas. He's going to need a line change. And back comes Guadalajara. Raza plays it to the yellow line, give and go. Good, solid possession passing, ball bent to the far post, bounds off the glass, trying to find Flores, who has already scored twice. Rodrigo goes down in a heap, no call. And Hetherington taps the ball away, but not out. Martinez with under 15 seconds to play in the third quarter. His shot deflected off Luna. Now back the other way. Giles is just going to roll it into the baseboards. Double team comes with five seconds left in the third. Camarena bends it far post. Header into Swift. Riley Swift saves the header from Flores as the horn sounds. The fourth quarter's next. Great crowd here at the Del Mar Arena for the PSL North American Championship. We even had a Frisbee toss winner. And an international flair, the seventh man holding up the U.S. flag. The Sockers just one quarter away from their 11th major indoor title with a three-goal lead, 8-5. to five. But La Raza made this a much more interesting game by outscoring San Diego 2-1 to one in that third quarter. The Sockers getting Craig Child's 41st goal of the year, their fourth power play tally in as many chances. The Sockers with a three-goal lead. But here comes Flores. Good ball played forward. Shot across the goal mouth and off the left post. Rebound shot and tipped away by Zay Roberto. Guadalajara still with control. Camarena plays it out and Martinez with a shot that whistles right, right. Rebound and it's off of Swift. And Roberto heads it out. What a flurry for La Raza to get things started, Chuck. Now a run forward for San Diego. Craig Childs at the midboards. He gets knocked down, no call. Guadalajara comes out with the ball. Yeah, La Raza is actually fired up. You can see that they're they're wanting a goal. There's an urgency now. They know that they're down by three goals. They need to get some goals to get back in this game. Next goal is going to be Paramount. Whoever scores it is going to feel like they're going to be the winner. And you say that with the Sockers leading by three, but so many times that three-goal lead, you give up that first one, and all of a sudden you can already see the way the Guadalajaran momentum has come forward. Camarena. Look, connects on this ball over two path, over two lines. Finds it forward to Alberto Pajola, getting his first action tonight. Another ball loose at the top of the box. Paul Wright taps it out. Cloutier there with Anthony Hernandez, who turns with it with possession to Camarena. Soccer's leading eight to five. Ball rolled to the top of the box, and it gets through. Tapped back to Camarena. Even strength action here early in the fourth quarter. This is actually something you never really see is uh, someone kind of uh, conducting a half court offense on the soccer's instead of the other way around. So this is very interesting. Yeah, Guadalajara has the guys that can maintain possession. Now that ball, a lost possession, a turnover for Guadalajara. Ball right, crosses it, Antoniak turns, loses the ball. A giveaway, here comes La Raza. And Antoniak loses it again. Now with speed, Vasquez tipped back to him. The shot is saved by Swift and cleared out by San Diego. Riley Swift, another huge save for the Sockers. Riley's coming up big in this game. Hernandez now shot deflected and headed up over the glass. Corner kick coming for Guadalajara. Two-man wall sets up. Tapped back to Hugo Garcia, top of the box, and Hernandez scores. Anthony Hernandez on the assist from Garcia. 
It's a two goal game, Chuck. Yes, the La Rosa player actually hits that pretty well. I think Riley didn't get a full look at it. Uh, maybe uh, blocked a little bit by one of his own defenders. Soccer's. Now get a steal right off the restart. Here's Childs, and they've got numbers. Craig Childs to the yellow line. Finds Medina! Anthony Medina! Nine seconds after the La Raza goal, Medina's got his second. The Sockers have their ninth and a 9-6 to six lead. You can actually see when Childs gets the, the ball with some space in the middle of the field, you can see the composure and confidence he has. He knows what he's going to do. He's waiting for the defenders to react away. Um, either block his shot or guard Medina decide to kind of converge on him and he just plays it to Medina back door. Nine to six. Wild start to this fourth quarter. Each side has scored already. Zay Roberto gets knocked down, no call. Miguel Vaca turns, gets bumped by Cloutier, plays it into the right corner. Martin tries to get off Vasquez and can't. Centering bounce pass. Wright tried to settle, but instead Guadalajara got a toe on it and they maintain possession. A nine to six game that's gotten very interesting. Ball into the corner now, shot. Sharp angle, it was off the boards. Loose in the box, and they score! And it's Flores. Rodrigo Flores has the hat trick. 36 seconds after the soccer's tally. Back comes Guadalajara. 9-7 to seven the score. Yeah, it looks like Braden Cloutier tries to clear it. It goes off the striker of La Raza. Bounces into the path of his teammate. Puts it in the back of the net. Two goals quickly for La Raza, down to a two goal game again. Nervous time at the Del Mar Arena. Could this be a furious finish? Ball right comes out with a loose ball. Luna's running left wing. Santian marks right. Ball skitters into the box. But there was Guadalajara to settle things down, and Camarena comes away with it. Off of Bowers, and I make that Antonio and over the glass. Out of play again, La Raza ball. A 9-7 game. Camarena. And Hernandez, he scored already in this quarter. Back to Jesus Flores. What a second half it's been for La Raza. And Flores with a nice ball forward. Turning his Vaca. Plays it. Now look out. Here's a touch. Vasquez in the box. It's a one-goal game. Quinton Vasquez from Hernandez. Perfect give and go. His second goal. Chuck. Uh-oh. This is uh, not looking good for the Sockers. I don't know if uh, Coach Lavaggio wants to call a timeout or not, but uh, the men momentum is definitely with La Rosa team. 7.42 left. What a flurry now. It's 5-2 to two, the score in the second half. La Rosa outscoring San Diego. The Sockers once led 6-1 to one and 7-2. to two. It's 9-8. to eight. And here's a ball played to the top of the box. Shot safe, Swift. Denying Santian the equalizer. A sliding save. Childs to Luna. Cheeky to the right foot. Cheeky has it taken off of his toe by Santian coming back on defense. A 9-8 game, the soccer's leading. Winner of this is the North American champion. This is the final. And both teams picking up their intensity. A battle along the mid boards and down in a heap is Rodrigo Flores. Oh, it looks like he caught an elbow from Scotty Martin there. Yeah, it looks like inadvertent. Uh, Scotty was just trying to double team and win the ball. Uh, but uh, good, call. good call. Here comes Child stepping over the ball. Child's with the double team coming ball. Still Lucy whistles it just wide to the left. Luna will play it back off the boards to Hetherington. San Diego with that tenuous 9-8 lead. Right tripped up at midfield. Squirts through a pair of defenders. Ball headed away. La Raza gets the ball. Now Cloutier takes it off the toe of Flores and plays it back into his own corner. Under six and a half minutes in the fourth. San Diego's lead from five goals down to one. Fouls to Cloutier. The ball's high up in the air. Here's another steal. Santillan comes forward and Cloutier has to bump him into the corner. Centering bounce pass loose in the box. Greg Childs clears it out. Great pressure by La Raza. And now tripped down. A whistle late and a foul called on Flores. Good call. Yeah, you can't uh, you can't slide a guy from behind, obviously. So that was a good call, obviously. Well, I don't know. Did they call that foul or did they just call it uh, from going out of bounds? Hard to say. Whistle is restarted. Antonia plays it forward to Susie. I believe they called the foul. Susie tried to find Luna if that ball makes it through. It's goal number 10 for San Diego. 
Good defense by Guadalajara to take it back. Now here they come on the counterattack. Flores plays it along the boards, and Swift is there to gobble it up. Riley Swift restarts, throws it all the way down, and a shot blasted over the boards by Cloutier. What a great outlet throw by uh, by Riley Swift to Braden. Um, one touch, he actually, if you hit that well, uh, Riley might have had an assist right there. Down to two minutes to play in the North American Championship. Soccer's leading 9-8. to eight. And there's Roberto battling for the ball along the boards. When will La Raza go to six attackers? Or will Flores act as a sixth attacker? We're under two minutes to play. And a timeout called. This is where they'll decide. We'll have six attackers when we come back. The closing stretch of the North American Championship. Soccer's lead by one. Time for one last rush for La Raza, 142 remaining. They'll go to six attackers here, trailing San Diego nine to eight. Sacco and the rest of the soccer's fans are ready to celebrate, but first, Chuck, some very nervous minutes to try and defend here. Yeah, there's definitely some time for uh, some goals to be scored uh, by either team, so uh, both teams are gonna be playing tight. Obviously, uh, La is gonna be trying to score a goal here. Hang on, a furious finish coming in the 2010 PSL North American Championship. Forward comes La Raza. Flores is staying in as the sixth attacker. Anthony Hernandez. Forward brings it to the far post to Quentin Vasquez, who's got two goals. Back to Hernandez. Vasquez to Hernandez. Soccer's keep their space. Far post shot is a little bit to the left. Swift was there to guard the angle. And Paul Wright taps it out to Nate Hetherington, but they can't control. Vasquez takes away for La Raza. Counting down into the final minute here. Soccer's nursing just a one-goal lead, trying to claim their 11th title. La Raza trying to equalize things and force sudden death overtime. And here comes Vaca. Vaca with the ball back to Hernandez. At the yellow line, he rolls it back to Camarena. Camarena far post tried to find Vasquez, and Bowers was there to clear. John Bowers clears it all the way back. And Flores will scoop it up in his penalty area. Under a minute to go. Camarena forward. Another Camarena. Passes on right wing. Ball taken away. Roberto. And Roberto tripped up from behind. That's a blue card for sure. Flores down and out. Roberto was going to score the clincher. And now Scotty Martin with Camarena and Hernandez pushing and shoving. And Camarena throws the ball off of Martin. And he's coming off the field. That's a misconduct for sure. That was an obvious foul, Chuck. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, and then look at that elbow by Martin and a kick to the back of the leg. Yeah, as Roberto beat, uh, beat the goalie to the ball, he had to take him down. And uh, Scotty Martin was off to the races, thought he was going to be able to score the uh, San Diego native uni uh, high school graduate, USD graduate. Uh, but uh, they called the play back, obviously. And Camarena has to take a seat. Two cheap shots all in one. The soccer fans are going wild because San Diego now gets a power play in these closing seconds. It'll be even strength because they're going six attackers. Ball four to Antoniak. But San Diego can try and bleed the time off and claim the championship. Roberto to right to Hetherington. The San Diego fans are standing and cheering. The soccer seconds away from being champions. Swift plays it back. Tic-tac-toe with less than 20 seconds. Now a giveaway. Hernandez rolls it out to Flores. His shot is wide. And Swift there to gobble it up with 10. Riley plays it to the backboards to Roberto with six. It's forward. One last shot. Flores with three. Chips it in the air. The tradition restored. Suckers are the champions. Wow, so exciting. Wow, this whole this whole. This whole season was for this game, and they finished it off. The finished it off. The confetti is in the air. The fans are out on the field. And after a span of 18 years, the Sockers and their fans get to celebrate a major indoor championship. Chuck, you've known so many of these players for so many years, the five years in which the Sockers were not a part of the San Diego sports community. What a feeling it has to be for Phil Salvaggio and this team right now. Yeah, actually, uh, Coach Salvaggio brought this team back not to just participate in the PSL Pro, but to win the championship. And uh, they finished it off tonight. What a great display. 
uh, by both teams tonight. Uh, started off a little bit hairy, but uh, got down to some soccer, and soccer's finally brought it home. Well, La Raza give them credit for an amazing second half comeback as Sean Bowers, the Tower of Power, hugging Phil Salvaggio. A moment I'm sure he wondered if he would have to end his career. Here's Kevin Milliken with a trophy presentation. DSL commissioner handing the trophy to Phil Salvaggio. It's the moment soccer's fans have been waiting for in the champagne poured into the cup. The soccer's are indoor champions once again. And Paul Wright, at age 40, a five-point game to lead them. La Raza had a spirited second-half comeback, but in the end, the Suckers celebrate. For Chuck Lively and our producer-director, Ted Bendrick, I'm Craig Elston for the seventh man. What a great moment, and for all the Suckers fans, as San Diego celebrates their 11th indoor championship, they beat La Raza 9-8. So long from the Del Mar Arena.